All right, so Bournemouth 30 defeated Chelsea by three goals. No, that game wasn't played away. It was played at Stamford Bridge. So, well, Chelsea, we'll see. And uh, Tottenham Hotspur also defeated uh, Manchester uh, United by two goals. No, with Manchester City beating West Bromwich Albion by three goals. No, so what it means is that Manchester uh, City have opened a 15-point lead uh, in the English Premier League. So other matches that were played last night, Southampton, uh, Brighton ended 1-1. And uh, Stoke City also drew goalless uh, with Watford, uh, with Newcastle United drawing 1-1 with Burnley, and then uh, you saw highlights of how uh, Bournemouth uh, went away and defeated Chelsea by three goals. Now. Well, we still do some more. We stay in England, but we'll talk the transfers because yesterday was a uh, transfer deadline day. Now, Swansea have resigned signed Andre Ayew from West Ham on a three and a half year contract for 18 million, uh, possibly uh, rising to 20 million pounds uh, through add-ons. Now, the 28 year old uh, returns to Wolves, uh, having left uh, the Swans to join West Ham for 20.5 million almost 18 months ago, which was a club record fee. And his arrival is a major boost for coach uh, or manager Carlos Cavajal, who has been looking to strengthen his forward line throughout the transfer window. Now, Ayu is a proven Premier League player who finished as uh, the uh, Swans uh, top scorer two seasons ago with 12 goals. And he was a uh, joint top scorer with uh, Gilfie Sigerson, who also joined Everton. Well, his brother, uh, Jordan Ayu uh, is now with Swansea and he's doing very, very well in the uh, last seven games. He has scored five goals and he's thrilled to have his brother back at Swansea City. Can't wait to play with you. I'm very happy to re reunite myself with you and I hope everything will, will go well for us and we're going to stay up. Come on, Swansea. So that was Jordan Ayu and uh, his brother Andre Ayu uh, resigning for Swansea City. So we're going to see the two brothers, and this is not the first time that they are playing together at club level. They, they used to play for Olympic Marseille in France and then moved to England, and now they find themselves in the same team as well. We still have to talk about Ghanaian players uh, on the move last night, and Ghan uh, defender Lumo Agbenyano. Uh, has also signed for Portuguese side uh, that's uh, Sporting Lisbon for a fee of uh, 2.5 million euros. And uh, Agbanyano has signed a four and a half year deal, and the left back was signed to replace Jonathan Silva, who uh, joined AS Roma, and he's been in uh, for them. Also, uh, Ebenezer Ofori, who plays his club football for Stuttgart, yes, so that's Agbanyano uh, on uh, your sets now. Uh, he has joined Sporting uh, Lisbon, one of the biggest teams uh, in uh, Portugal there. And also, Benozo Fori has moved uh, on loan to MLS side, that's New York City. Uh, he was uh, with German side uh, Stuttgart uh, later when he joined us uh, on Sports Today. We'll give you a breakdown of how the Ghanaian players uh, moved uh, during the transfer deadline day, which was uh, yesterday. And uh, also, we'll give you more on uh, what was been happening in the transfer uh, window, what happened yesterday, the notable uh, transfers. But I'll mention a few before I take leave of you. But uh, this morning, uh, well, that's how we should have even started the show. Alaji Hats, uh, he was with Accra at the folk. He was a big man at the club, a former management member. Unfortunately, yesterday he passed away. So may he so rest in perfect peace. Uh, later here on the show, we'll pay a tribute to Alaji uh, Hats. Uh, may he so rest in perfect peace. And uh, talk about the transfers here. Yesterday, Arsenal signed Gabonese striker Pierre Emerick Aubameyang for a club record fee uh, that was uh, 56 million pounds. And another deal that was dependent on this one was Olivier Joe moving to Chelsea. So uh, Arsenal needed a replacement for Olivier Joe. So he has also joined Chelsea uh, with. Batuaye moving to Borussia Dortmund. So uh, those were some of the deals that happened. And uh, Riyad Mahrez is going to stay at Leicester City. Leicester yesterday increased the price uh, to an amount that Manchester City were not willing to pay. So City backed out of that deal. So Riyad Mahrez is going to stay at uh, uh, Leicester City despite uh, handing a transfer request yesterday. And Mesut Ozil has also signed a new contract and that contract is going to make him uh, one of the highest paid players at Arsenal. He's taking £350,000 a week. £350,000 a week. So uh, you, you just have to join us at 2 on Sports Today. We'll bring you more sports. Yesterday, GOC also uh, took some uh, took a, a sponsorship, a money sponsorship uh, on behalf of uh, Akwisi Fempon, uh, who, who is uh, expected uh, to participate at this uh, year's uh, winter 
Olympics which started this weekend. We'll bring you more on sports today at 2 with Nathan Latwan. Ben Tosu, thanks so much for your time this morning.